President Yoram Seveni has delivered a lecture to 81 UPDF Army officers who are currently undertaking a three-month junior political education and leadership course at the Oliver Tambo School of Leadership in Kaweweta, Nakaseke District. The lecture, which took place at State House in Tebe, focused on the principles of NRM and drew officers at the rank of Captain, Lieutenant and Second Lieutenant from various units in UPDF. The aim of the course is to guide the participants to think consciously and objectively so that they are enabled to internalize social, political and economic systems of Uganda and other regions. I'm very happy to hear that you are interested in political education. This is because you cannot have an army that does not have an ideological orientation. President Seveni said that the Uganda People's Defense Force is a people-centered liberation army that is all out to ensure the security of Wanainchi, unlike the colonial army whose aim was to colonize the people as well as taking over their property. The president said that a country like Uganda can't afford an army devoid of ideological orientation because all armies have it. Our own army must have its own ideology. What is our army? What is the character of our army? Our army is a liberation army. A liberation army cannot be the same as a colonial army. Obviously, this is logic. So the liberation army is an army of the people. Your mothers, your sisters, your uncles, this is an army to guard those people and guard their property. He observed that it is crucial for UPDF to know the principles of the revolution that the National Resistance Movement, NRM, carried out such as patriotism, pan-Africanism and socio-economic transformation, among others. If you want to be all right, you must love Uganda. Why? Because Uganda is the one which supports your prosperity. How? Through buying what you produce. So, there are people who say, love Uganda, it's not just a slogan. President Seveni urged UPDF officers to help society to transform economically by undertaking wealth creation ventures through embracing commercial agriculture. On corruption, the president urged army officers to play a role in fighting it, saying that through vigilance, corrupt government officers can be arrested like the case was with some Minister of Finance and Economic Planning officials. Mr. Museveni called on the officers to love Uganda and Africa as this impinges directly on supporting our prosperity. He cited the East African region as an example because it offers a wide market for a number of Ugandan products such as maize among others. We are now producing 5 million tons of maize. Ugandans eat only 1 million tons. Therefore, there is a surplus of 4 million tons. So, who will buy this maize? Fortunately, we have got neighbors who need maize. Kenya, they need maize. South Sudan, they need maize. Regarding the East African Federation, the president observed that it is essential in the formation of a strong market, common citizenship, and one foreign policy, among others. Harriet Nambi, UBC TV.